is something about the beginning of the end of a long salmon season that plays on my mind. A yearning to be done with it all, yet I want to linger for the last hours in a hope that won't come around again for another year. That's my brother Chris. He's back here in Cook Inlet in the same stretch of water he left some 20 years ago. Prices were down, runs were weak when he left in the 90s. Things change. Call it fate, call it a whim, luck. For any number of good reasons, he's back at it. Running a boat all hours of the early morning, up on the bridge at first light, looking for jumpers. For starters, the price is right. Reds are selling for around two bucks a pound. Silvers are up over a buck. As for the run, well, the four million that fishermen were supposed to harvest didn't exactly materialize. But that's fishing. And if fishing is scratching, we're amply happy to put in an effort straining the water. In a few days, he'll haul the boat up on high tide and store it in dry dock, and that'll be that. It's so fun to spend the early morning hours out on the water with Chris. It strikes up something primordial, like back when we were kids and we skipped school and spent the whole day in the woods. The guy on the left is Matthew Stillman, Chris's deckhand. He shows up on the boat at 3 a.m. this morning and extends his hand and says, by the way, I'm green. Well, you wouldn't know it by watching him work the deck. He's got the moves, he knows the knots, and he knows what to do and when. He loves this, and with nearly a full season under his belt, he's looking for another boat right after Chris hauled out. Chris would hire him back in a minute. Some guys are like that. They might say they are green, but really they are gold. So the day wears on. We run east, even though Chris has said he believes we must head west in search of better fishing. We go east, make a set for 20 fish, go east again for 15 more, go east some more, and end up with the accursed waterhole. Then we go west, way west, for a set that brings us two fish. In the end, the radio fish we heard about in the east aren't any better than Chris's intuition, which told us to go west. That's fishing, but there is something else of value out here on the water today. Something that keeps us running and running and making more sets. Somehow it makes sense inside of our heads, but it grows indecipherable when we open our mouths and try to talk about it. With 23 minutes left to the season, we pull the net for the last time. The buoy comes in over the roller. Chris sets the autopilot for Homer over the horizon to the northeast. We clean up the decks, a sure sign that it's over but only for another year. <laughs> 